Okay, grade eight, this is your practice test. Uh, your test is tomorrow morning. You will have it second period tomorrow. No, first first period tomorrow morning is your test. Is that right? No, second period. Second period. Okay, so as we go through these questions, you can either pause to try the questions again or just correct your own. But the first question says 10 take away negative 10 is greater than 10 times negative 10. So simplify both sides. If I keep flip change, I get 20 on this side. 20 is greater than negative 100 is what this says. And that is true because 20 is greater than negative 100. Even though 20 is a smaller number than 100, it still has a larger value than negative 100. Question two says these two sides are equal. If I simplify, I'll bring these down here. If I simplify this side, 5 plus negative 2 is positive 3 positive 3, take away negative 5, keep and change, I get 8 for this side. Over here, negative 16 divided by negative 2, 16 divided by 2 is 8, same sides as 8, or same sides as a positive, and it does equal 8, so therefore it is true. I had only two-thirds of the class get that question right, so you got to be careful. Both sides do have the same value, positive 8. Question 3, taking out a $5 IOU every week for four weeks would be represented by the expression, equation, excuse me, negative four times five. But the answer is false. Four weeks of owing $5 equals negative 20 is a proper expression. I've kind of reversed the negative sign. It's not a negative four weeks, it's four weeks. It's not a positive IOU of five, it's a negative five. So it's the better expression would be 4 times negative 5 equals negative 20. I got about a quarter of the class got that one wrong. Question 4, dividing a debt of $20. So a debt of $20 would look like that. Into smaller debts, so dividing it into smaller debts of $5 would be 4 smaller debts of $5 each. The answer to that is true. Owing $20 and dividing it into smaller debts of negative $5 each would make four smaller debts as opposed to one large debt. So the answer is uh, true. Two-thirds of you got that one right. Question five, most of you got it right. Five times five is 25. Opposite signs is negative. Question six, 50 divided by 10 is five. This is a positive divided by a negative. Those are opposite signs, so I have a negative quotient. Question 16 is subtraction. The easiest way to get an answer to a subtraction is to keep the first integer the same, change subtraction to addition, and use the opposite. You will always get the same answer to a subtraction by using that method. 16 plus 3 is a grade 2 question, and the answer is 19, or positive 19. Question 8, uh, a negative 18 plus a negative 2. If I was to model this, I'd have 18 negatives, which is too lazy to do, plus two more negatives. Altogether, I would have 20 negatives. Or to contextualize it, if I owed $18 and I combined that with another debt of $2, I would owe $20 in total. Question 9, negative 2 times 15. If I was to, re, uh, if I was to write this as negative 2 plus negative 2, 15 times, I would have the equivalent of this, to, uh, sorry, 15 multiplied by negative 2 would look like this. So if I switch them around, I still have the same answer, and the answer would be negative 30. If I just use my sign rules, 2 times 15 is 30, different signs, negative answer. Everybody got that right. Question 10. I have 25 divided by 25, which is 1. And I have different signs, which means a negative answer. Question 11, 100 divided by 25 is 4. Different signs, negative quotient. The 12th question, 12 divided by 1 is not 11, it is 12. Same signs makes it a positive answer, so the answer is positive 12. Question 13, this says 10 times negative 10, even though there's no sign written here, we know it's multiplication. 10 times 10 is 100. Positive multiplied by a negative gives you a negative. Question 14 is a straight up uh, order of operations question. We have four, uh, three operations. We have addition, 
and subtraction, and we have multiplication. First one I'm going to do is multiplication, which means 5 plus negative 2 take away stays where it is. The product of negative 5 and negative 3 is positive 15. So my next line looks like that. Now I just have addition subtraction. I'll do it in the order they appear from left to right. 5 plus negative 2 is positive 3. Positive 3 take away 15. If I want to get the answer using integer rules, keep the first integer, change it to addition, use the opposite. 3 positives and 15 negatives would be negative 12. Only 35% of you got that answer correct, so along the way somewhere you made mistakes. Please watch this video again just to make sure you get it right. Just one second. Question number 15. Two operations. I'm not going to do subtraction, but I will do multiplication first. That's negative 12. Notice how I kept my subtraction symbol and my negative symbol separated by the bracket. That's important. Keep the first integer, change to addition, and use the opposite of the second integer. 12 positives and 1 negative give you 11 positives. Question 16. There are three operations. There's a subtraction, a multiplication, and a subtraction. I will do my multiplication first, which means... It'll go right in there. So what is the product of negative 2 and 2? It is negative 4. I'll keep it in brackets because I want to keep my subtraction symbol separated from my negative symbol. I now have just subtraction left, so keep, flip, change. I get 1, take away negative 10. Keep, flip, change. 1 plus 10 is 11. Half the class got that wrong. So please make sure you watch that again to make sure what you did wrong won't happen again. Question 17, 10 multiplied by whatever this simplifies into. This is the bracket. Now, within those brackets, you have to follow order of operations still. So negative 3 plus 5 times negative 2, negative 3 plus negative 10, the brackets will simplify to negative 13. So I'm just going to put that right here because all of this is equal to negative 13. So instead of saying 10 times all that stuff in the brackets, I could say 10 times negative 13, which is negative 130. Question 18 is 3 times negative 3 times negative 2. I could have written it like this. This is the exact same question. 3 times negative 3 is negative 9. And negative 9 times negative 2 is a positive 18, or just 18. Question 19, I could have written this question in brackets, 10 take away 4 times negative 2 divided by negative 2. I could have written it that way. Just simplify this part first and then divide your answer by negative 2 is what it's really saying. So uh, 10 take away, order of operation says do this first. So 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Again keeping my subtraction sign separate from the answer to this, which is a negative. So I have to have a subtraction sign and the negative 8 divided by negative 2. Keep, flip, change. The numerator will simplify to be a positive 18 divided by a negative 2. And finally, 18 divided by 2 is 9. A positive divided by a negative gives you a negative. Only 38% of the class had that right, which means most of you had it wrong. Uh, anyone want to share what they did wrong real quick? Denise? Uh, you forgot right here? Right there? Okay. How many had 10 take away? How many had negative 1 as an answer? Does anyone have negative 1? Yeah. Negative 1 is a good wrong answer because what you did was you did 10 take away 8 divided by negative 2, which gave you 2 divided by negative 2, which was negative 1. So you didn't have the subtraction kept here for a negative sign here. Uh, question 20, 44% of you got it right. So 150 times 2 is 300, plus negative 130 times 3. And 300 plus this product is negative 390. So I did my multiplication, I did my multiplication. The last step is to add them together. My answer is negative 90 for question 20. For Oh my heavens. 17% had the same answer. So let's look at this. I'm going to rewrite this. Negative 40.5 times 2 
plus 10.25 times 4, get an answer, and then take that answer and divide by 2. This is the exact same thing. So this is negative $81 plus, this would be $41. If I work all that out, I get negative $40 divided by 2, because now I can, all of this works out to be negative $40, because negative $81, which is this, plus positive $41, those two add up to be negative $41, or negative $40, excuse me, divide by 2 is negative $20. Dollar sign? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, your answer is negative 20, so obviously some of you probably had it right, but had it wrong in the remote, that's fine. Question 22 is about Eddie. So Eddie is a seahorse, and he suddenly decides to dive 30 meters, which means we are going to go five units of negative 30. Okay, that's Eddie going down for five seconds, 30 meters a second. And we're going to combine that with eight seconds of him rising 25 meters. Okay. So five units of going down 30 meters plus eight units of going up 25 meters a unit. That would be the expression. If I simplify it, he went down 150 meters and he went up 200 meters. So what's the change in elevation in total? Negative 50 or positive 50? Positive 50. So if we started at negative 200, right, and he went up 50 meters, right, because he's higher than he was lower. He went up more than he went down. What's his current elevation after that dippity do? No, it's not. What's this work out to be? Negative 150. So Eddie is 150 meters below sea level after his dippity do. Okay, he started at 200 meters below. In the end, he went up 50 meters. So he's now negative 150. I know, I lie. Uh, question 23 says, my bank account for the week looked like this. So all together, negative 10 plus positive 25 plus negative 40 plus negative 35 plus positive 10. I'm simply going to create zero, but this and this make zero. This and this make negative 10. Negative 10 plus negative 40 is negative $50 divided between the five days of the week because I want the average. That means my average is negative $10 uh, withdrawal per day all week. Okay?